Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day today, at least as far as Mondays go. Before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that this Thursday is NEA Comedians Monthly Open Mic Night for Stand-Up Comedy at Cregan's in downtown Jonesboro. That show is scheduled to start at 8.30 this month, with sign-up being at 8 o'clock. We're moving everything up by 30 minutes for this month. Um, I don't know if it'll stay that way next month. I'll just, uh, I'll have to let you know when we get there. But this month, it's, the show starts, the show starts at 8.30 and sign-up will be at 8 o'clock. Also, I recently found out that there is a weekly open mic night for whatever talent you have, whether you sing, you do poetry, you do stand-up, whatever you do, it's at Recovery Room, 7 to 10. So go out to Recovery Room <clears throat> at 7. I'm going to be there, I'm going to get an early spot at Recovery Room, and then I'm going to go from there to Cregan's uh, by 8 o'clock and get signed up there at Cregan's and have both of my spots ready to go and do stand-up. So if you want to see me, you can see me twice this Thursday. That is August 31st at 7 and at 8. Or at 7 and 8.30, my bad. <clears throat> at 7 and 8.30, you can see me twice. So, um, yeah! And if you do any sort of talent, go to both. Sign up for sign up for whatever you do at Recovery Room. And if you happen to do stand-up, also go and sign up at Cregan's. It'll be, it'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready for both. Um, also... Next Friday, September 8th, next Friday at 7 o'clock is the NEA Comedians Comedy Show as part of Local Fest with, uh, at Recovery Room with a few Memphis comics. I know that Nate Jackson is hosting. Uh, Jeremy Cox will be in this show. A guy named Lamond that I've seen a couple times. Very funny guy. He's headlining that show. Um, oh, I can't remember who else is in it. I want to say Keely Allison is in this show. There are two nights. They're doing two shows. There's one on Friday night and one on Saturday night, and it's all different comedians both nights. And I forget now who's in what. But also, after that first one on that Friday, the 8th, there's going to be an open mic, and I am hosting the open mic. So come on down. Come see the show. It's $15 in advance or 20 at the door. Um, you'll have to go to the NEA Comedians Facebook page to find a link to buy tickets. I'm not sure what the website is right now, but I'll see if I can share that information later. Anyway, <clears throat> go and get your tickets for that. $15 in advance, $20 at the door. You don't want to miss this show. It's going to be a lot of fun. And stick around for the open mic because I'm hosting and that's fun too. Plus, I think I've got a new guy that's coming in that's going to do comedy. Hopefully, I'm going to talk to him sometime this week and see if he's going to go. So, um, yeah, all that being said, let's start the show. Welcome to Band Up Comedy. My name is Bryce Moore, and I will be your comedian. I've been doing some more thinking, and I've come to the conclusion that I really wish I could just be a superhero. But then I remembered that being a superhero takes a lot of work, and I'm lazy. <laughs> so I decided what I can do is something even more heroic. I'd like to actually get a job as a supervillain and then call in sick every day. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Do we call them parrots because they parrot us? Or do we say that they parrot us because they're called parrots? <laughs> I want to open a store that only sells receipts. And then if we forget to give you a receipt, your order's free. <laughs> we often use the phrase frozen solid but I've never seen a frozen liquid. <laughs> Don't you wish you could just drive around for a while until you pass go and collect $200? <laughs> By this point, I think most of the students and the teachers in the school have developed a certain fear of little Johnny. So what do they think about his dad, Big Jonathan? <laughs> a few weeks ago, uh, I went to Big Nicky's open mic at the Comedy Junt in Memphis, which, uh, b by the way, that's every Thursday. I believe she starts at 8 or 8.30, and sign up is 30 minutes before. She calls it LOL Thursdays. You should go check it out. It's really cool, really fun. Uh, I've only been the one time, but it, it was fun. I will hopefully be back sometime. Anyway, <clears throat> I went to that. I went to the first one that she had there, uh, and... I left there and I came back, because like I've told you before, I don't like to eat before I go and do a show, whether it's an open mic or a full show, whatever it is, I don't like to eat before that. I like to be sure that I can put on a good performance and then eat after that and go to bed. 
So I came back to Jonesboro after that and went to McDonald's. That's kind of my go-to. Uh, it's probably like 10.30 at night. And I'm sitting in the drive through line, and I get up, and I place my order. I order 20-piece nuggets and a large order of fries. Don't judge me. <laughs> place my order. And go up to the first window, pay for it. Go up to the next window, and nobody's there. There's just nobody at the window. So I'm waiting a minute. And I'm waiting another minute. <laughs> and she finally walks up. You had a 20-piece McNugget and a large fry? Yes, ma'am, that's right. And then she just walked off. So I'm waiting a few more minutes. And then she finally comes back and she says, we're still cooking yours. Can you pull forward, please? What? I ordered McNuggets. You don't just have those ready? For God's sake, your name is McInnit. Now hurry up and help me out here. I got to eat so I can go home and go to McSleep. That's it for this episode of End Up Comedy. Thank you so very much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you again next time.